Woo, okay, uh, fuck bone. All right, 13 years in the waiting for Avatar 2, and I hope to God that the sequel doesn't take another 13 years and we can start getting these going. Overall <laughs> thoughts, off the top of your head, Avatar 2. First one's better. Okay, but of this movie. This movie just seemed kind of out of place. I like I like this movie. I really like this movie. Uh, it's definitely not as good as the first one, but I really liked it. Uh, there, there's only like one big gripe I had of this movie, but other than that, the humans come back and they come back hard. Not just seek revenge, but they're like they're harvesting more than what we uh, had in the first one. They're after like brain <clears throat> juice, whale brain yeah. juice. That it's not unobtainium anymore. It's which this seems way more valuable than unobtainium. Well, yeah, this is this immortality. Is, they literally this is rich people juice. They like, literally go into the brain of this killer space whale, and it stops you from aging. It just stops. Which kind of came out of nowhere, to be honest. Well, there were yeah. just whale hunting things to look after something, and they were using that crew to f- just seek out Jake Sully, and then ran into. Oh, by the way, yeah, this is pretty much why we're here. Is all this juice. Well, there's but, multiple reasons. The main reason is to... They're terraforming. They're going to make this new Earth. This is Earth 2. That's the number one reason why they came back to Pandora. And the immortality is just a huge bonus. And it pays for everything. Back home pays for everything that is currently on Pandora. But there's a, there's a chunk in the movie, like in the beginning, it's pretty interesting. Like, they're fighting back and everything. They're in the, the like forest. guerrilla warfare. Yeah, guerrilla warfare. It's amazing. And, uh, the and then all of a sudden, he stops the fight and he runs away to the water people. On the cliche, I gotta save my family, but really, you're not running away from the problem. You're just prolonging it, kind of thing. And then really, the whole movie was, okay, now we're actually gonna fight. Like, wait a second. You had a whole war in the first movie. Yeah, he started this a whole, fight. Uh, wasn't it like a more? It wasn't against a world war kind of thing, but did it was, he collect all the clans? I thought he like he got all collected the, clans, the clans of like the the wood people and the air people, but obviously there's other parts of the no dragon of the planet. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that they didn't explain, which I'm sure they'll leave it open for pre for next movies, but. That's my biggest gripe with this movie is Jake started this fight and then he's like, I'm going to go away. And even Natari's like, she's like, no, we got to, let's kill this fucker. She literally says, she goes, I'll kill you a hundred times. And the significance of hunting down Jake Sully doesn't seem like a good priority, at least an important one. As far as taking over the planet as a whole and getting it ready for humans to come down, taking down one guy when really... He's not a significant character in building a rebellion. It eventually accidentally happens. I mean, but... he did build it, but the thing is he said, I'm just going to run away and hide. Just, that... He just did the same thing, really. It just happened in a different place. It was just really in a war thing. And and the tragic moment in here was da na 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 that whole tone. That was when they hunted. That was fucked up. They hunted down a mom whale and a baby that whale. That was stuff. fucked up. Yeah, but the first I didn't one, like they that. blew up a whole fucking tree and killed yeah. like half the fucking yeah. nation. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. This one's definitely a lot lower scale when it comes to the, I guess, warfare. I guess you, the war, I guess, in general. It was a little... And she's the biggest question mark for me, Sigourney Weaver. Like, didn't really... I mean, you obviously can tell that she's got some powers some she's ability, jesus but the she's pandora jesus but yeah like that's pretty much it they didn't they didn't even like try mm-hmm. to go into like explaining that at all they had a vision which was super weird by the way mm-hmm. didn't really explain anything but that would have probably been the moment to <laughs> to explain it trying to get in there a little more and uh yeah uh why is she like a goddess and why did her avatar just get knocked up and yeah, I don't know where it's just like... A little weird. It's doesn't I go. Yeah, and then she's... I mean, obviously, it's... It's... What's the goddess name? Awa. Awa. It's Awa. Like, Awa impregnated her body. Like, when she said, she's real, Jake, she's real. That had to have been something that she... Awa impregnated but her the, that thing, avatar body. But her avatar body's still dormant? It's still like... It's not... Is it alive? I guess it's alive. It's still in the tube thing. Like, why is... Yeah, I guess it's still alive. Couldn't, it, couldn't she come... Just like, without a consciousness. Shouldn't she just wake up eventually? I don't know. 
Yeah, I don't know how all they that didn't really shit explain works. any of that. I loved uh, Natiri in here. She was a bad ass. They in stepped here. up the kills. Oh my god! Big time. Some of the there is some of the coolest action scenes I've ever seen. I like the spear where he goes over here. from the water thing. And he yeah, spears like, that dude uh, and like that's what I would do. Over yeah, and over. Well, the Cliff Curtis, the guy who the character Cliff Curtis played, and he. he also, what happened to... Obviously, they're still alive, but they were in the fight, and all of a sudden, the fight ended. And kind of died out, and everyone, everyone left. scattered. Yeah. Um, I love... titanic in it. Yeah, kind of. I had a little Kate remnants in it. of uh, Titanic. Yeah, so who was she? She was Prego, his wife. Oh, really? I did love Jake's... Jake and the Colonel's one on one because so I was like, he better not just leave and we're gonna roll credits. So he goes, let's just fucking fight. Then they fight. That it. was good. I was, be- I was and then upset. they fought underwater. And then he caught him in the rear naked choke. He got him in some kind of weird like leg or uh, headlock with oh, his legs. Yeah, yeah. And then the Colonel, he yeah. got knocked free and got him in the uh, rear naked. Uh, and then his son Spider. I'm not the, the Spider person. I don't. Yeah, he's they really like, made him his son out of nowhere too. Like yeah. he's my father. The dude was like 60 years old. Well, he was like 50, but still, who was the mom? And what happened to her? Did she leave him yeah, there? Yeah, and then he's just a monka boy. Yeah, and then I guess her or him, Spider and Sigourney Weaver's child are falling in love in here. They seem pretty close. I like Jake's axe. Dude, some crazy kill. When in here. Jake and freaking Natari, uh, Natari, sorry, Natari is a, she Nat- gets they were kill ruthless, now. man. Like the coolest fight scenes were when they were working together and they were just taking everybody out. Like he had the high ground, just capping she everybody. Picked, stabbed that one dude, lifted picked him up, him with up it, and then went shot through the him, arrow, got in the head. <laughs> dude, that was a great kill. That was sick. Um, I do feel like we spent a little too much time on the children, but... And they got caught up in things and called their dad like three fucking Dude, times. Dude, I, I was... Three fucking times. They're so like, where are you? If Who's I, with you? Everyone. Everyone. Again? Your little... Your, Damn it. Your, all of the kids are locked need you help. Up. And he's like, how am I always safe and you're always in trouble? As a group. You guys are working as a group. And you make sure everyone's involved. Like, yeah. Make sure not a single kid is yeah. out of the loop and yeah. puts their life in danger. Right. That happened over two or three again. times. Yeah. So that was silly. Um, and I did expect Sigourney Weaver's uh, character, I guess. It is her, right? Yeah, it is oh, yeah. her. Her voice is definitely there. Um, Playing a, calling Sam Worthington dad. Yeah. It was like... Yeah. Uh, if she's able to fucking animal bend you think she would have been a little bit why didn't army why of did, whales man. why didn't the whale come to her why did it come to the yeah i know i thought she was bullet. controlling the whale to save him yeah but then it just turned out to be like a puppy dog of his well it just turned out like oh it's a uh, i guess killer whale killer whales see humans as like you know cute i guess and it just saw a human in danger so it saved it and since it's a, a a Ronin or it's Rogue, that I guess they just became friends. I don't know. It was a little weird. I do feel like we I spent to get in there and like connect with it and control it from oh, the inside. God. That would have been badass. Yeah, that would have been sick. He can control the other uh, other pod groups and have an army of fucking hammerhead whales going in yeah. on these boats. That's what yeah. I, honestly that's what I was expecting going in because that's kind of what happened in the first one, but with like the rhino elephant things. Or whatever the yeah. you know, I had elephants. There are some things in here that I did like, and this is what I like about Cameron is he he gets into the details and stuff, and it's bigger. Uh, he's he's world bit uh building, and it and he's no and he knows how to do it. One is they not only gives them the strength advantage as the avatar bodies for the marines, but they said if they will trigger a immune response. So literally, Pandora is checking for humans, mm-hmm. and if you land as an avatar, you know animals will avoid you and they won't attack you. Shouldn't and the monkey boy die then? I guess A was smart enough to know that it's part. Of, he's part of the clan. Another thing is the different type of what are they called? Navi, uh, the water people versus like the forest people. Is they're literally evolved different. different. Yeah, mm-hmm. they got weird, stronger tails. They're bigger. They're just bigger. 
hold their breath. They got these fins. Uh, I do like that. And at the end of the movie, they do kind of say, I am a water person now. I'm like, I really hope he's just getting clan to clan to clan to where the whole planet is brought together by Jake Sully because he learns all of their ways. So the next one, he moves on from the water and does something else. I wouldn't just. I was a little upset that we didn't go back. We to... kind of ran away from it and started over. In yeah, another place exactly. Another element. I really wish that they would have combined it, which obviously I feel like that's what where they're It didn't seem like the bad guys had the cavalry like they had in the first one. You know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This wasn't. This wasn't. It was more contracts. It stuff. wasn't. Let's go get these whales. It wasn't the bat or the war. I guess like it was in the last one. It was just a battle, and it was a significant battle. Because the colonel's just going to go and regroup and then we're going to pick up wherever, a year or two later. Because wars take their time, and I guess especially when they're doing interplanet. But I like James Cameron. I love this world that he's building. Uh, he's mixing you know, interstellar stuff as well as planetary stuff like animals and nature as well as you know invasions and war. Uh, Scientifically spiritual. Pretty much, kind of yeah. That's that pretty much sums it up. What, what, how many people would you say that were there? It wasn't a lot because it's Thursday. Um, twenty five, twenty people, and I was hearing them going, "Oh, you, you!" I, I was getting a reaction from they. Uh, the movie was making them feel things, and oh my god, does not not feel good to get that meat. Like, there's a lot of tension in this movie. Where you're doing this, and then like when the whale dies, you're like you're like kill these fuckers, like you gotta kill them. Whole forest gets nuked. Yeah, and then that happens. Five minutes. And and then when Jake and uh, and Terry starts taking people out, you're like rooting them on. And then when the son dies, it's not just a cheap little kill. You see, uh, how do you pronounce her last name? Zoe. Zalindea. 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 Whatever. Natiri, her reaction to the to the child dying was you were getting goosebumps and I was getting a little teary eyed and I forgot who said it is. It's not about seeing the character you care about die; it's the reaction of people who care about the character die. Uh, so seeing her reaction of her kid dying was like hitting it home. I'm like, this this is what I'm what I was missing. So uh, overall, what would you uh, give this movie? I give it a solid B. I give it an A, for sure. Because although some of the stuff that, that dragged with me, uh, not dragged, just him running from the fight was just weird to me. It seemed forced. The whole and, movie kind of seemed forced. And Natari, Natari, damn it, wanting to fight. I was like, yeah, yeah yes, she's right. Go fucking fight. Because uh, usually in movies, you're like, the mom's like, well, what about our family? And the husband's like, well, we got to fight to protect them. And here it's kind of reversed. Like, Jake's wanting to get away to save his family and pretty much screw over the the whole clan that he started, the whole war that he started. I don't even know how they're doing. Yeah, exactly. They all dead. So that was a problem for me. And just how easily the humans came back. Like, I figured, like, the whole movie would be them reestablishing the flag into the soil. But it was like literally immediately done. And I get it, they have the advantage because they have all yeah, that shit. They landed technology. in super hot. But then it just started goes nuking one shit. year later. I'm like, I'm sure I a lot of shit I, happened in one year. I man. liked how they didn't really waste any time. But yeah, that is true because you could have had this movie of, you know, the guerrilla warfare shit. You could have done half and half, I think. Yeah. Half where you, start, where you left off the last movie, and the other half is but the water. Side the, of it. the argument would be that there's more movies. So if if they keep coming back and you keep taking them out and then they keep coming back and you keep taking them out, it gets a little weird. I do like it how they got a city now and it's a fortress and they're no longer like, hey, we'll give you schools and this. They literally put a big-ass city on the planet and it's their fortress. And uh, they're a little bit more aggressive in here. They're not trying to get the approval of the natives anymore. It's straight-up warfare. But I love I love the world they're building. I love it how a planet is sentient, and I love it how the creatures are yeah, far more cool. intelligent and emotional and empathetic. And I like it how they're they're literally connected to the planet. They can relive memories, like when they relive that memory of teaching his kid how to fish, 
and they're both enjoying it. That shit is crazy. And humans and represent y- the antithesis of that, where we have no fucking ability to connect with life and yeah. living life forms we money burn it yeah. all money burn it all the whole thing was destroy the whole tree for this little rock kill that big ass animal for this little vial destroy the fucking we destroyed our planet, planet so now we for money this planet and then they're colonizing yeah they're the colonizing race and like you get, take care of your planet what about other much. planets out there we got to this one you know and there's all this resource of things there's not another planet come on man also, just real quick before we end it, I love the visuals and showing how, <laughs> since they're a moon circling this giant Jupiter planet, eclipse is like all the time. Like every day you get eclipsed, and that's probably most of the day. Who knows? But I guess that's why everything glows in the dark. That's what I'm saying. I like James Cameron because he thinks it out. Like, why does everything glow? Because they have this big ass fucking, like, our moon would be like a, a Jupiter-sized planet, so the planet has to have light somehow for organisms. And there's things on this planet that do the same thing, like in the depths, and they have lights. They, the evolution gave them a light bulb, so life will find a way, and I like it how he makes it into like an Some action Some of the movie. fish in the movie could have been real. Yeah. For all we know. For real. And he probably could have snuck them in there just to test us. He knows. He's done all those deep He's movies. He's obsessed with the marine, marine life. And you said his brother was a marine, right? In the military at some point. I don't know if he's a Marine. Something like that. All right. Well, that was our uh, review for Way of the Water. See you guys in the next one. Who did Ben Diesel play? Yeah, who the fuck did Who ben did he Diesel play? play? Did he play the whale? 